What's going on YouTube? Once again, my name is Will. I'm from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel, or you can catch me online at www.whatsupinthesky.com. And this is a request from one of my uh, for one of my subscribers. They saw this uh, in one of my other videos, and uh, they really want to take a better look at it. And if, if I actually thought this was pretty cool compared to the little lizard thing I thought I found. Originally, I, I the post was that this was a ten-legged lizard lizard <laughs> but when you get more and more intrigued into here this almost perfect circle with this cross in the middle of it it's just way way too cool and way off the uh, off the mark I mean it doesn't match anything in this video or on this you know in this actual thing um, whether it be a nest for something or this was something that's just left over. My theories on Mars, if you watched my videos before, that something happened to this planet, whether it was a war or an atmosphere uh, collapse, um, total destruction to it, and you know, anywhere from thousands to millions of years ago. And in that time, Mars has a lot of sandstorms. They have a lot of uh, the cyclone, sand cyclones. So. I, who knows what's buried under this but I would love to do some digging right about in this area and find out what is going on here you've got a lot of interesting uh, a lot of interesting anomalies just right in this area on this picture so let me go ahead and do what we usually do I'll take you and show you what we do the actual picture because I don't Photoshop this stuff I download it directly from the Jet Propulsion Laboratory at, at NASA at you know jpl.nasa.gov I get that a lot people are like oh you know you just you just Photoshop these and I get a lot of these oh you got too much time on your hands get a life get a girlfriend go out well Anna will be here this weekend I think I'm gonna get her to do some cameos in some of my videos just so you guys can see that I do have a life <laughs> as much as it seems like I put a lot of these videos out this takes five ten minutes to do and the computer does the rest all I do is hit upload and let it roll um, but this, my friends, this is very interesting to me. Um, it's it's about as perfect as a circle as you can find. It's in two pictures. You can find it on the, the Mars River website. This is the better of the two pictures. Um, and you can see, if, if, if it's a perfect circle, I'm seeing it right here, if you follow my mouth. And then right down the center, you've got another one of these. Um, and you can't really tell over here. It almost looks like this side was blurred out a little bit. Uh, and then under it, if you look under it, you've got this kind of cubed looking block here. It's, it's very interesting. It's got a little knob on the top of it. Not sure what that is. And then also here, there's another, another one of those anomalies. So let me reset it. This is exactly what it looks like when it comes down from, from actual NASA. And then when we go ahead and if we, let's give it a little bit of exposure, a little contrast, sharpen it up a little bit and see if we can't pull it out. Maybe some auto levels. That brightened it up a lot, a little bit more than I wanted. Let me reset that again. Let's give it that. Um, and here, here's what I do for the shots. I think they saturate this with red. Uh, I think it's probably done as a computer algorithm on the rover itself. It comes in and, and basically as they're coming down as raw images, it adds a couple shades of red, a couple, a couple tint. So I always drop the temperature down low and then just give it a little bit of tint. And this is for people with uh, Apple computers. and I'm just using preview. I could bust out the Photoshop and, and we could go nuts, but I don't do that. And then bring up this just a little bit. And as you come out, this looks more like Earth now. At least it's kind of white balanced it um, to where it looks a little bit more like Earth. Uh, so let's see here. Okay, so let's go back here. What's interesting about this, it almost looks like this, these right here have an have an interesting carved effect to it too. This is one of the ones where I really can't tell what this is. You know, was this? I love to just dig right in this area here and find out. And also over here, this is because this is just sitting there. You can see its shadow. It's almost a perfect circle, but it's, it's a circle that's got like a uh, like your eyeball would. I think if you look at <laughs> or like if you you would see the back part of it, the retina part. It's pretty interesting. Um, 
here there's a nice little rock that's you know n nothing that I can see is woo that could come out of there but this right here is something and let me make it the whole size I've got some vision impaired people that come to my videos and like I said I wanted to put this back up at high res for another one of my subscribers this is just touching the cake this is the last time I'm going to touch this uh, this picture from the rover there's a lot uh, a lot on I think like I said I, when you can see just a lot of different anomalies. The rocks in this area are very interesting. They don't look to have fallen. There's a lot of these straight, straight lines, like maybe petrified wood. A lot of block-looking, block-looking things. Um, off in the distance, you get a little bit more of the block-looking things. Um, but what do we got here? Is it a steering wheel? <laughs> and this one right here. See how this rock looks like it was sheared in half, and in the middle, kind of like a geode. Uh, I know if you've seen geodes, when you cut them right in half, you've got inside the crystals. Now, a lot of people told me too on the last rock that this rock looked like it had a smiley face. I think that's just, uh, you know, part of the illusion of how it is. I don't think that's a real smiley face. But you can see how that right there could brought some interest to people. Very uh, circled. Almost looks like you had your John Deere tractor ripped your steering wheel off, tossed it. And, uh, you know, a couple million years came by or, you know, a couple thousand years rolled by, some dirt's on it. Uh, so let me know what you think down below. This isn't one of the strongest ones I've had, but uh, it is one that's worth taking a look at. It's worth downloading the, uh, I'm going to put, as, as always, I'm going to put the link below. And I uh, hope you subscribe. There's a lot more to come. I'm going to do a lot more of the satellite photos from the, uh, the Mars orbiters because there's a lot of good stuff there, especially if you're looking for lakes, water. But what NASA's really just coming around and saying that there might be some there. And officially NASA just came out and said that that Mars rat was nothing but a rock. Yeah, sure. They've, uh, <laughs> it's getting to be pretty funny over there. But anyway, much love, guys. Take it easy. I hope you have a wonderful night. Enjoy the video, and uh, I'll see you soon.